What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 30 minute butt and thighs burnout with a mini band. So grab your resistance band and let's get to work. Alright guys, I hope you're ready for this 30 minute workout. We're going to roll quick and we're going to roll through the butt and the thighs today. Okay, so what we're using is a mini band or a resistance band or a loop band. They're called a couple different things. Um, if you don't have one, I'll link the one that I'm using here in the description below. It's a Watt Fitters. This is a medium strength band, okay? We're going to keep it for the most part right over top of our knees. Make sure throughout the workout that you don't ever have it on your kneecaps, okay? We want to keep it away from the joints, keep it away from the possibility that it can move your kneecaps without you wanting it to, okay? So, just for uh, reference throughout the workout, we're going to keep it for the most part above the knees, but we're going to get started with the warm up first, all right? So, let's get started with some side to side toe taps in three, two, one. Reach into your opposite toe. I just want you to reach nice and slow. Let's wake up those glutes. Stretch out the adductors. Good, waking up the quads a little bit as well. And I should say, if you don't have a mini band and you wanna grab some dumbbells and do these movements with a dumbbell, you can still do them. Okay, that uh, mini band is just gonna add resistance to your glutes. All right, so it's just gonna give a little burnout effect for 30 minutes, so a pretty long burnout. <laughs> And rest, good. Come back to the middle, place your hands on your hips, and I want you to hinge your hips back and forth. Okay, reach and pull forward. Back and forth, good. Keep a little bit of a bend in your knee. Good. Two more, let's reach and squeeze the glutes. Reach and squeeze the glutes. All right, come back up to the top. And let's go. Good work. All right, three, two, one. Okay, come on back to the back of your mat. I want you to reach your foot out front, straight leg. The other leg is bending. You're gonna scoop down and up. Come back up. Now you should be feeling it in the hamstrings, in the back of the legs, a little bit in the calf and the glute as well. Good, give me two more. Left and right. And good, come on back to the top. We're just gonna do some hip circles. Okay, let's go from the back to the front. Let's switch directions now, go the other way. And open up the hip joint. Two, one. All right, great job. Go ahead and grab your band. Let's place it on, throw it right over top of your kneecaps. And we're gonna be counting in ladder style, okay? So we're starting with the number four. We're gonna add two reps each time, okay? So right over your legs, like I said. You're gonna start with a squat side step, okay? So you're down in a squat. We're gonna start with four each leg. Four, three, two, one. Go ahead and come with me. Four, three, two, one. Now we're going to six, five, four, three. Now you're noticing I'm staying low. And switch, six, four, three, two, one. Good, we're gonna stay here for two minutes and keep climbing this ladder, okay? So now you're at eight. Three, two, one. Stay low and switch. Eight, seven, five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Coming back up, you've got about a minute and a half left. Good. And keep climbing that ladder with yourself. If you're a little slower, that's fine. If you're a little faster, Probably keep it a little slower than me or at the same pace as me. Because if you're rushing through, you're definitely probably not feeling that contraction, okay? Let's go back over. We're going to 12 now. Here we go. Nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, stay down. Three, two, one, and then switch it over. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're going to fourteen, fourteen, thirteen, twelve. You got about ten seconds. And let's switch it over. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Great job. Okay, grab water if you need it or just a little shake out. Anytime you need that today, just march it out. Your second movement, we're gonna stay with that same theme. Two minutes, just about two minutes and 30 seconds until the next one, okay? So first one, we're gonna start with our left leg on this one, Romanian deadlifts in nine seconds. You're going four at a time. So four, three, two, one. So you notice I'm in this hip hinged position. Okay, go ahead and come with me. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Let's switch it over to six. Six each leg. Three, four, five, and six. Good. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job. Keep those glutes squeezing. Full extension at the top. Four, we're going to eight. Five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Switch it over. Keep rocking with me. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Great job. We're going to ten. Here we go. Ten, nine, Eight. Notice my hips are facing the ground, so they're not opening with my leg. They're staying face down. Three, two, one. All right, switch legs. You're doing great. Here we go. Ten, nine. I like to hold my hands on my hips just so I can make sure my core is tight, my hips are facing forward. Two, one. Whew. Great job. Okay, going up to 12. Here we go. We've got about 30 seconds left. Five, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Whew, 20 seconds. Here we go. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, five, four, three, two, and one, we've got 10 seconds, let's go. Two, three, four, almost there, rest. Whew. Okay, good, come on down to the mat. Keep the band right over top of your knees. Okay, and we're gonna do leg lifts on the side. Okay, so two minutes at a time. We're gonna go here for four, and you guys can just roll it over to the other side for four, and then we'll keep climbing, okay? Make sure your toe is facing forward just like the bottom leg. Okay, so it's not here. If you look real close, my toe is not pointed towards the ceiling. It's pointed towards the front. Okay, two, one, let's go. Four, three, two, one. Good, flip it on over. Four, three, two, one. Good, I'll just roll over with you guys too. Here we go, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Come back over to the other hip. Six again, six, five, four. Think about leading up with your heel. Two, one, all right. Eight on each side. Keep climbing, guys. And you can lay it down too if you want. Seven, six, five, heel is up first, four, Three, two, one. Whew. Good job, roll it over. We're gonna keep climbing for this two minutes. Here we go, eight, seven, six. Make sure your hips are straight. They're not back here, okay? So there's no angle between your knee and your chest. It's a straight line. Three, two, one. Whew. Great job. 45 seconds, keep climbing. Going to 10 on this one, woo! 
There's the burn. <laughs> Great job. Two, one. <sighs> Great job. So if you're with us, you're not using a band and you're using dumbbells, you should just be stacking that dumbbell where the band is. Okay, so place it right here. Six, five, four, three, two, one. You've got eight seconds. Let's finish on this side with 12. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, rest. Okay, you're gonna stay down here on the mat. Grab some water if you need it. Okay, you've got about 20 seconds left. Your next one is gonna be a kneeling kickback. Okay, so one leg at a time. You've got one leg straight back, toe taps on the ground, and you're gonna lift. One, two, three, etc. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one. Ah, let's do it. Four, three, two, one. Switch so the band is still right above your knees. Two, one, going up to six. Six, five, three, two, one. Bring it back in. Six, five, four, three. And if your band is rolling up, you can always place your hand here as you lift to kind of keep it right there on your thigh. And switch. Six, four, three, two, one. Great job, going up to eight. You got eight, seven, six, five. Make sure you're not arching your lower back. And switch back. Whoo, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're up to 10. Keep rocking with me, 10. Nine, eight, seven, five. Tight belly button. Three, two, one. Great job. Almost there. Keep up and up. I want you to really squeeze. Whew. Three, two, one. All right, switch legs. Keep rocking. We've got about 30 seconds left here. One, and you don't know, need to go any higher than parallel with the floor, okay? So you don't need to be up here arching your back. Just lift your heel until your leg is just about parallel with the floor. Great job. You got four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, great job. Come on up. You've got 30 seconds. I'm gonna keep that band right above your knees, okay? Grab some water. So like I said, if you don't have one of these, I'll link the one that I use below. Um, this is not a paid sponsorship or anything like that. It's just the one that I use. They haven't ripped, they haven't torn, they haven't worn out. So they're just high quality bands that I think work great for me. So maybe they work great for you too. All right, next one we've got lateral lunges. Okay, so you're gonna step out to the side, lunge and back up. Okay, let's start with four on this side. Two, three, and four. Come back up. Four to the other side. Four, three. Set those hips back. Two, and one. Good. Come back up. Now we're going to six, five, four. And I just want you tapping here and going right back out. Three, two, and one. Six on the other side. This is also a really great just low impact leg workout. Okay, so if you have someone that's looking to start their journey that you know of, a friend or family member who's not fully into the like high intensity hit jumping strength training yet, they're looking for, let's go to eight now. Looking for kind of a beginner workout with low intensity but still a good effective burn. Definitely recommend this video to them to help them out. Seven and eight, good job. Just wanted you to really get a good booty burn in. Burn those thighs out. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. 
Switch it over. Let's go to 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job. Come on back up. We got about 15 seconds. 9, 8. Good. Keep pushing back. Push that hip way back. Four, three, two, one, and rest. You're gonna stay up top here. Grab water if you need it. Whew. You're gonna keep your band right above your knees again. They do make um, thicker bands that are maybe like triple the size. If you find your band like rolling up your legs a lot like this. Okay, they do make the thicker band. I'll actually link that below as well. It's called a slingshot. Also not paid to say this to you, but it does work really well if you find the band is too thin and it keeps rolling up your leg. So I'll link that below as well. All right, next one, hands on your hips. You're gonna go lateral leg lifts standing. So I want you to remember to keep your spine straight. Heel goes out to the sky for four, three, two, one. Let's go, four, three, two, one. Now we're up to six, six, five, four, Three, keep your spine straight. Two, one. So what I mean by that is I don't want you leaning here like a pendulum, okay? Keep it straight. The only thing that moves is your leg. Three, two, and one. Switch it over. We're going to eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Eight on the other leg. Here we go. Eight. Seven, whew, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You will find the stabilizer leg or the leg that's holding you on the ground will also start to burn on these. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Now only go as high as you can, keeping everything straight. Four, I don't want you to go on way up here just to yank yourself around. It's all control. Three, two, and one. Good, switch to the other side. You've got 10, nine, eight. Find a spot on the floor, keep your belly tight. Five, four, three, two, and one. You've got about 15 seconds, so let's go five and five, okay? Five, four, three, two, one, let's switch to the other leg. You've got five, whew, four, three, two, and one, rest. Ah, great job. Okay, water if you need it. We're coming down onto the ground on all fours. This is called a fire hydrant. Okay, you've probably done this one before. Okay, all fours, belly button is tight. Your spine does not round out. Okay, it doesn't arch, arch, stays nice and straight. You're lifting that knee out to the side. I want your thigh to be parallel with the floor, okay? Don't swing your hips over when you lift either. Keep everything straight, okay? Let's start at four. In three, two, one, let's go. Four, three, two, and one. Drop it down, switch. Four, three, two, one. Switch it over. Six, five, Four, three, two, one. We're going to six on the other leg. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job. We're over to eight. Keep the spine straight. Do not lean on your hips. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Eight on the other leg, good job. Eight, seven, whew. got about one minute left. Ah. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Okay, we're up to 10. I'm right here with you, I know it burns. Going to 10, All right? We're doing it for the results, okay? You came here to see your body change, to tighten it up, to feel your butt getting toned. Your legs toning up. Five, four, three, 
two, and one. Okay, 10 on the other leg, let's go. We've got 30 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. You've got it, you've got it. Big deep breath when you need it. Four, three, two, and one. We've got 10 seconds left still. Let's go five and five. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Okay, stay right there for 30 seconds. Or, you know, you can rest, but you can drop back here for a second if you need to. Your next one, you're actually gonna stay down on the mat as well. Okay, so you can flip over onto your back for this one. Now this one isn't going to be single leg, but it is gonna be the count up theme that we're going with. Okay, so you've got glute bridge openers. Okay, keep the band right here above your knees. Feet are nice and wide, so they're out at the edge of your mat. You're coming out, you're gonna open for four, three, two, one, drop down, come back up. Six, five, let's go. Four, three, two, one, down. Now make sure your feet are nice and wide and your toes are pointed forward or slightly angled out. Whatever feels good for your knees. Eight, seven, six, five, four, don't drop your hips. Three, two, one, down. We're coming up for 10. 10, nine, eight, push the knees out. Six, five, four, butt up, three, Two, one, down for a second. So let's go for 12, 11, 10, nine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Yes, it's on fire. I feel it too. We're going for 14. Here we go. Come on up. 14, 13, 12, 10, nine, Seven, six, five, whoo, three, two, one, down. Okay, whew. we can do this. 40 seconds. We're coming up for 16. Three, two, one, let's lift. Six, seven, four, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, five, four, three, two, one, drop it down. You got 20 seconds. We're going for 18. Let's get all of them in. Here we go. Eight, seven, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Whew. Okay. <sighs> Come on up. All right, this one you're gonna move it down, actually to your ankles. Okay, you're gonna stay seated. Grab water if you need it. Maybe I need it because I'm just yelling so much right now. Doing so many, whoo! Okay, anyways, we're gonna do one leg at a time quad extension. So this is where the thigh part comes in. One ankle stays down, the other ankle is going up. One, two, tap the heel down, three, and four. All right, let's go. Four, three, two, one, switch. Four, three, two, one, switch. We're going six, five, four, keep the knee right here. Three, two, one, six, five. You wanna feel this in your quad. Three, two, one. If this is too easy, move your legs farther apart. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep rocking. Ten, nine. I really want you to squeeze this leg. Four, three, two. 1, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 12, 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 14, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 14, 13, 12, you got 30 seconds. Four, three, two, one, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, twelve, eleven. 15, 14, 12, 11, rest. Whew. Okay, great job. Before you come up, let's roll your ankle or roll your band from your ankles back up to your knees, right over top of the knees, not on your kneecaps, but above it. Whew. Okay, so this one is just gonna be literal burnout. Okay, you've got two and a half minutes to do slow sumo squats with me. That's it, okay? No counting, nothing like that. I want you to take your feet wider than your hips. Toes are still pointed forward, so they're not out like a plie. They're right here. Okay, we're going down for three and up for three. Let's go. Three, two, one, three, two, one, the whole time, I want you thinking about your knees fighting against that band, okay? If you're having uh, dumbbells in your hand, that's another way to step it up. Slow, 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 don't come all the way up. Go back down, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, one, come on. Two, one, knees are fighting, keep them out, keep them out, come on. Great job, great job. Down, three, two, one. Up, three, two, one. Eccentric and concentric part of this squat. So on the way up and on the way down, nice and slow. Okay, I'm trying to drop a couple uh, knowledge bombs on you guys every workout so you learn kind of what's going on with your body. Okay, so you know what, what you're talking about, right? Eccentric and concentric just have to deal with the direction that your body is pushing the load or coming back up to starting point. Okay, keep rocking. You've got one minute left. Stay down here with me. Three, two, one, three, two, one. Yes, keep them out. I know it burns. Where should you be feeling it? Right here, bottom of your glute. Okay, glute maximus. Woo! Come on, push those knees out. If you feel them falling in, they're fighting against that band. Do not let the band win. Down, two, on, two. Come on. We've got 30 seconds, me and you, let's go. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Two, one, three, two. Now step a little wider, keep going. Three, two, one. Come on. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Whew. And you have made it. I would say time flew by, but that was, ah, that was not fast. Ah, I only had 30 minutes with you today, so I wanted to really make sure we got everything that we could out of that workout. All the burn that we could. Whew, so, you notice the burn that you're feeling right now. That's lactic acid creeping into your muscles, okay? I need you over the next couple days in this cool down right now to keep moving, keep stretching, okay? Movement will only speed up your recovery, okay? Moving a sore muscle isn't gonna make it more sore. It's just gonna help speed up your recovery, okay? Let's stay right here. I want you to cross this leg way over top of this one and reach down towards the floor. Okay, back leg is just a little bit bent. There you go. Good, all right, let's switch legs. Cross it over. That's it, good. You wanna feel it in this outside glute, so the leg that's behind the other one, you wanna feel it in that glute. Whew. If you're up here, same thing, just keep pushing your hips back. Let's come on up and go for a number four stretch. Okay, so 
Cross your leg right here. See, it kind of looks like a number four a little bit. All right, so we're gonna sit down, place your hand on your heel and on your knee. Just go into a half squat, and I really want you to push down on this bent side knee. If you need something to grab onto, grab onto a wall, or just find a spot on the floor, stare at it. All right, come up and switch. I wanna know what you guys thought of that. I know a lot of you have asked me for these uh, resistance bands or the mini bands workouts. So definitely wanted to give you guys what you're looking for as much as I can. So comment below if this was something that you're looking for, if you'd like to see more with these mini bands or resistance bands, loop bands, whatever you call them. All right, let's go nice and wide. I want you to reach over top. And go ahead and switch. Reach, try to push this hip away. And let's roll down in front, side to side with the hips. And as the clock rolls down to zero, like I said, don't forget to keep stretching, okay? If this isn't a type of workout that you've done before, you haven't used the mini bands before, first of all, evaluate, was your mini band strength good enough to this workout really burn nice and deep? Okay, if not, you may need to up your resistance, which is always a great problem to have. So like I said, I'm gonna put the, the link to the bands that I use in the description of this video. Not getting paid to say this or anything, but they're great bands. I use them every day almost with my clients. Um, and I'll also link a thicker band. So if you had your band kind of rolling up and down your legs, rolling up and really thin, you might need the thicker band. So try that one out as well if you don't have uh, a mini band that you like to use. All right, make sure you guys click the links in the description below and take advantage of all the sales I've got going on with my 30 day transformation program on my website, as well as the apparel. And let me know what you thought of this video. Before you head out, comment below, say I crushed it, my butt's on fire, or whatever you're feeling right now, and make sure to give it a thumbs up. Please, before you head out, click subscribe. I cannot wait to keep growing this channel with you guys. And have an awesome day. Can't wait to see you back here tomorrow for our next workout. Bye guys.